Hi guys, so today we'll discuss about Commvault appliances, uh, the types of them, how they are used and in what situations they are uh, being implemented in the heterogeneous environments and uh, how corporates are actually using the backup solutions. So we'll first discuss what appliance is. Um, we know that Commvault is a backup software. Let's say this is a backup software. And uh, whenever you buy a backup software, uh, it's it's presumably said that you know they don't give uh, storage you know you'll have to buy discs or, or a tape separately uh, which is again from another vendor uh, there are many vendors like Dell and then we have Hitachi there are many other companies that actually give uh, hard disks or these external storage devices so <clears throat> this hardware is a separate uh, entity altogether when you're buying a backup software so that's that's something that we have to take care previously you know it's uh, it's only just backup software that used to good, but now things have come up a little advanced and you know them Why not we give hardware as well along with the software? So both of them together are called appliance So the vendor Commvault himself will sell you the backup software along with the hardware. So here There are many it depends on the availability at that point in time You know, I'll, I'll discuss the versions and what kind of storage that they're using uh, as external you know you know combining them and selling them as a single package along with the license so that's appliance we'll get to the, the types of appliances commvault offers right so types of appliances we have uh, many appliances that commvault has been offering lately uh, though you know major part of their sales are only backup softwares appliance is very rarely used um, because every uh, you know customer on consumer will have their own uh, storage devices already available with which uh, buying an appliance becomes a little costly and also not of you know feasible at that time so coming to the appliances that commvault basically has a600 a410 and a210 a600 is majorly used it is widely accepted and has a good and been a good success so we'll discuss about a600 architecture and we'll see how it's deployed and um, what all are the components inside and how is it different with the other native storage plus hardware devices so a600 has uh, components wherein you know they'll get a package of you know storage box of uh, uh, e series from netapp as storage this is hardware i'm talking about hardware we anyways know that you know the uh, commvault will give you a backup uh, software where it consists of both comserve com server and also the media agent so software is already there now that they are offering you the storage part that is netapps e series uh, e 2712 is the storage that they offer along with this a a600 okay now so when you're installing you know if you already have a com, com server with you you know probably you could just uh, install this media agent on the uh, on this uh, hardware appliance and you know start using it as a secondary storage or at least if you don't have one the a600 has the capability of installing both the com server and the media agent in the installation wizard and you know towards the end of the installation it will also ask you to set up the e series netapp e2721 as e712 as the storage device so you can um, uh, you know configure storage pools and you can configure replication policies you can start doing backups and restore jobs you know it's a plug and play concept so it's as simple as that all about a600 so a600 if ac the all of the a series is for uh, you know it's it's previous versions you know they were being used uh, previously but now there is a, a much bigger environments you know a much needed heterogeneous environments that that needed larger uh, files being backed up and you know more io and then uh, more importantly fastness you know everybody needs uh, things to be backed up so fast so so comes the um hs130 that is the new appliance that is being offered it has many capabilities and offerings it's just like the a series uh, appliances but then it's for heterogeneous environments it's sophisticated and has lot many advantages uh, i'll draw the architecture here let's say this is com server 
let's say this is the com server and then uh, all the data is being sent out to disks but then there is a catch here there is a middle layer here which will actually have ssds these are the usual disks or call them hdds and these are SSDs. SSDs are not nothing but solid state drives. Solid state drives, what do they do? How why are they fast? Why are they being used? For the actual core data to be saved, HDDs are used. This will have larger volumes. You know, these could be in TVs. Okay. Um, and SSDs could be in GBs. But then they are very fast. You know, the IO is literally 10 times, 15 times more than you know the regular HDDs because HDDs have disks which which has to rotate, which has HDDs are disk which has to be rotated. It will have a reader, and the faster it reads, and the faster the read and uh, write data is, it takes time. But then SSDs are like that. You know our usual USB sticks, right? Our USB sticks, which will have chip in, chip in it, and the chip will have the data which can be read and write based on the. USB port connectivity so very similar so SSDs are much faster and uh, they are used for internal deduplication whatever console is deduplicating the data is being used with SSD you know the, the local database dump that uses to run the whole backup server faster it's used SSD and also it uses for uh, uh, indexing you know indexing right so indexing is basically noting down what all data is where that is indexing it's simply like your uh, first page of a novel where you know all the pages um, what all pages have what all day you know content you know in, in a novel the first page is all about indexing number one this is so and so chapter number three this is so and so chapter so that's indexing that indexing data and the deduplication data and also few of them which needs faster processing times that are used being used by SSDs which is in this layer and the layer next are basically HDDs. HDDs are much cheaper in cost but you know they are in TVs we can't deploy a typical deploy a economical solution considering the budget uh, you know we can't deploy SSDs in the core level uh, block level storage so that block level storage is still in HDDs. Uh, probably in future they'll move everything to SSD, but for, for now it's just SSDs are being used only for faster disk IOs and processing times. That's about uh, HS130. These are the uh, uh, appliances that Convert is currently off offering. Also, this HS130 has the ability to actually uh, do the tiering. So, what is tiering? I also explained in other video. Tiering is nothing but you will have uh, data in your COM server and then your local storage. And then your tape or cloud so whenever there is a restore request the restore request will come here our uh, prod server let's say this is a prod server we take the backup here and from here it will go there and from here it will go here it will go so let's say uh, we can configure a policy or Comsel, Com, Com, Comvolt is uh, smart enough to understand that you know recently backed up data has to be in local and the data that is being aged will, send, will be sent out to tapes and clouds based on the availability and the distribution. So it's a AI program I would say it's a log algorithm which actually distributes the data based on their age uh, which is again it's been processed by you know uh, historical data you know how you know how many ch reasons are there for you to restore a data which has been backed up many months back it's very rare right so people will ask for a restore request which is uh, when it's a recent data only then it you know there is a frequent risk request coming in for a restore so based on that it is done so Commvault is smart enough to do that so this is again tiering so whenever there is a request you can actually send the data directly from Commvault to cloud uh, and using tiering that's that's again uh, one of the characteristics for HS130 which is not with the case with A series A series you will not have the ability to actually pump the data to cloud using tiering that's again one pass thank you again for watching uh, if you have any um, suggestions comments please just uh, leave it in the comment section we'll learn together and understand thank you have a good day bye